I um, start decorating usually the day after Halloween. Sometimes I can do it pretty quickly. Sometimes I kind of have some ideas in my head of what I want to do and so I um, if I do that makes it go a little bit quicker although sometimes it's hard to get it from my head to the tabletop but I have done it before within about a week but I have to work from early morning till about midnight and it takes me about a week to do that occasionally I'll have friends that'll stop by and that's always fun because it's always fun to see what somebody else does with the same things um, and then sometimes I have to go back and redo some of the things that some of them have done because it's not quite in my head the way I was wanting it done. But, and there's always, I mean, I, I can really never be finished because I can constantly see something else that I kind of want to want to do or somebody said how do you come up with so many ideas with different things but and it was kind of funny because that day whenever somebody had asked me that I was sitting out on the front porch and while I was sitting out there while well, I was looking at a wreath and thinking oh well that would have been pretty to have hang balls down from that or I could have put different ribbon over there and moving things around I mean it's just a my brain never quits on that so my inspiration is definitely God-given I don't know that I would have. I mean, I definitely think that it is a gift. My whole family kind of has it. Even, I mean, my mom had it. She had it in a different way. She wasn't so much a decorating, but she was an artist. And she would, I mean, she always kind of taught us all how to see things from an art perspective. And she was always doing crafts. And, and um, but definitely, I feel like that God's the one that gives me the creativity to do, because it kind of comes in lots of areas. I feel like that my, um, expertise is probably creating something out of nothing you know I said sometimes I've had new things and I can't always I'm always a little more unsure, unsure of what to do with the new things but if I have old things that I can make things out of or um, I like taking things that are everyday things and adding a ribbon or putting balls Christmas balls into the bowl or whatever it is I like trying to take my everyday stuff and make Christmas, make it to look Christmassy. Not just Christmas, but all holidays. I decorate for um, Valentine's Day, a little bit for St. Patrick's Day. I just kind of move on to the whatever's next, Easter. But not, I don't do nearly as much for any other holiday other than Christmas. I do love Christmas. <laughs> Makes me happy makes other people happy. I said people love to come by my house and I love to share it. When you do this much work it's just fun to share it with other people and makes other people smile. A lot of moms will bring their kids by and it's become a tradition to where there's lots of different families that to come by and show me their or I get to show them their decoration and a lot of times if I know they're coming we'll whip up some hot chocolate and I typically have some kind of treats to eat so it's just we want to make an event of it and and it's just fun. I enjoy doing it, even though it's a lot of work. Well, I did not say that I don't look at things. <laughs> I do look at Pinterest, I mean, but I don't try to copy everything that I see. Like, even when I look at Pinterest, like, I may see just one little thing in that clip, you know, that might inspire me to do something. Like, I love um, uh, thermoses, those plaid thermoses, and I can just see little things in different pictures with plaid thermoses and that will inspire me to do a display of something, you know, or just get different ideas to use different materials with it, but you don't have to have a lot of Christmas decorations. I mean, if you can just buy some nice ribbon and if you've got a few Christmas balls or just a few Christmas ornaments of some sort, you can take um, just an everyday bowl or a mug or lamps. Um, you can take your lamps and just tie a ribbon around the top of the lamp that's a Christmas ribbon. Maybe hang some balls from the um, Christmas ribbon and you know like yard sales whatever the Christmas is people are getting rid of a lot of stuff you know the Christmas balls are a really fun thing that you can do a lot of different stuff. On the beginning one thing that and it's the job I probably hate the least hate the most is fluffing. I do not like to fluff. The, your Christmas trees and your garland, they're usually all smashed. And so whenever I first open the box, this is where I like to use Jerry or anybody else that just likes wants to sit and watch. Well, they can sit and they can fluff. And that's where you take the garland and stretch, it, stretch them out and you have to make it look like a Christmas tree, not like it's been smashed up in the box or in the package that it came in but to fluff it up and make it really 
full and nice. And um, that's a beginning thing to really making all of your garlands look, look really good, is to fluff things up. And, and it's worth it to take that time to do things. Um, yeah, I would think that just to take your everyday things, if you don't have a lot of Christmas, and make them by adding, make them look Christmassy by adding a little bit of something Christmassy to them. Well, like over here, I have a bowl, and in that bowl are some colorful old, they're, they're old, but just Christmas balls. Um, and I have uh, lamps around. Oh, another thing that I have that is a very good idea, I think, and that is um, Christmas boxes. There's a lot of really neat um, Christmas boxes that you do gift wrap in that, um, like this one particular one's um, Santa, and I take the box and nail the the bottom of the box, or just use straight pins, um, to hang the bottom of the box up to the wall, and then you put the lid over the top, and it looks just like stretch canvas whenever you get done. It looks like a picture that you've spent instead of it being 49 cents or whatever it is, but it's a really good way to decorate that doesn't cost hardly anything. So old toys that you might have that you might want to put out. You could fill the back of it with Christmas light bulbs. I don't hardly throw any of my Christmas old, the big bulbs, away, the light bulbs. I keep them and I put them in jars or put them in the back of a truck or there's lots of different things that I do. I'm not very good at throwing anything away because I typically use it in some form or fashion. So many of my ornaments that I have bought are broken or that I've had them with this tree that we have back here that you can maybe see in the background. Actually it was another tree but um, I remember one time whenever we had a cat his name was Tink and he went running from the back of the house all the way to the front ran up the tree and it swayed and it lot broke lots of different Christmas balls. Well the ones that were totally shattered I threw them away but there are several of them that I think I still have that the bottom of the ball is broken out and I've kept it just because it links me to that memory of that cat and there's lots of things that I've bought you know that I've even bought them broken because of instead of it being a ten dollar item you maybe got it for two dollars and nobody knows that it was an angel with no wings or one wing or a hand broke off or whatever but when you put it mix it in with all your other things you don't even know that it's broken and you got it for a lot cheaper of a price and to me I'm not very good at remembering um, my past and so like the cat and the ball that um, balls that I have I don't know that I would even remember that but every year when I go to get it out I remember the time that the cat knocked all the tree over with, with doing that and so it makes for good memories. In the kitchen I have tree in there that has um, kitchen utensils. You can use other things other than just Christmas ornaments. Like say if you wanted to put a tree in your kitchen you don't have to use Christmas looking ornaments. You could take wooden spoons or um, I have a bunch of old spice bottles that have been that I don't have you know, don't use anymore several of them that I have are the old tin spice tins that I've jammed the part of the tree into the hole to help to hold it on but you can even decorate them up and make make them look fancier but I haven't I've just stuck them on the tree but I've got rolling pins in there and I've got measuring cups and and then I have just regular I do have Christmas ribbon in there but there aren't a lot of just actual Christmas ornaments so you can take things toys um, like if you wanted to put toys if you wanted to put a tree in your kids room you could take some of their toys and um, you might want them to help you put them on so that they're not taking them back out but um, you could just stick um, some of their toys into the tree and you can you could take the the tines I think they're called of the the um, tree and just wrap it around there and kind of use that as your holder to hold them in tight and it's easy to easy to use things that you've got around your house to decorate a tree with but then the key are of course your Christmas lights and then some maybe coordinating ribbon that you could buy to go with it to give it that little extra touch. 
also different things to put around the base of the tree. It's always fun to use old blankets or scarves or different things. <laughs> I've used some of my scarves for um, table runners and or bows in the tree and you, you, it's just unlimited the things that you could do just to make it pretty and make it festive. So. was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap, we just settled down for a long winter's nap. Mm. And much my, let's see, I ran to the, and out on the lawn, I heard such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. And much to my surprise, there was a Santa Claus and his eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> this is my version of it.